everyone! Welcome back! I'm glad that you can join us for this week's crafting project. So this week we are going to be making our own windsock. So um, for the supplies that we're going to use, um, we're going to start with some cardstock and we're going to decorate that with our own design. And then we're going to glue it so that it looks like a tube. And then we're also going to have some glued uh, tissue paper to kind of give us the streamer effect on the bottom. Um, so with um, those supplies also we're going to have some markers, some sequins, and glitter as well as glue to help us make all this magic happen. And with that, let's get crafty! Um, so like I had mentioned before, we're going to take the one side of our paper and we're going to do whatever design that we want to on this side. Um, so I have my sequins and my markers and some glue as well as some glitter to make this all have whatever design that I want to on it. So you're more than welcome to do whatever creation you would like to on this side of your paper. So I'm, I, I drew my flower, um, kind of giving it a design, and then I'm going to use the glue to outline where I'm going to want the glitter to go. Um, and so this project, like other things we've done with glitter on paper in the past, we just have to have another piece of paper underneath it so that way we can capture all the glitter without making a mess everywhere. Now we can also use our glue uh, to put some dots everywhere for our sequins to add in. So much like whenever we've done projects in the past that have glue and then we need to try to do something on the other side, we have to wait for it to completely dry. So we have to let this sit for a while and then we can come back and uh, continue on our project. All right, so now that we've uh, let all of our um, creation dry so far, so now we can get started on our next part. So um, what we're gonna do is flip it over. So uh, with our tissue paper, you're just gonna take um, some long strands for our families that have been staying in the house. Uh, we provided kind of longer pieces um, that all you need to do is just kind of cut it in half, but you could even cut it um, in half again this way. So here we can do some of that. Um, and so now uh, we're just going to recreate that with the rest of our color. Um, so now that we have all of our streamers, what we're going to do next is we're going to just glue that to the inside, put that to the side for now, and we're going to glue it to the inside of our, uh, our uh, cardstock paper. So we're just going to kind of do some glue along the bottom. And then we're going to take our tissue paper and we can put it however 
far apart we would like to on paper. All right. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to do some glue along the edge right here. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna glue along the edge right here. So then that way we can... And then we're gonna take our other end and we're gonna very gently, cause all that's still kind of wet. So we're gonna flip it over and then we're gonna roll this and press down. So the final piece that I'm going to show you how to do. So now we have our you know, our wind sock as it's still drying a little bit. Um, but I wanted to make sure to show you guys how to finish it up. So all we're going to do is we're going to take a pa piece of the paper that we were um, using for catch our glitter earlier, and we are going to just cut a piece uh, along piece like this and then we're going to glue it to the inside and loop it around so it looks like this. So this way you can hang it on something um, and let the breeze kind of catch it and see the streamers go. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you guys have fun and I hope you have a wonderful day.